Well, while I'm at it, uh, why don't I show you how to install a new kernel on the Nexus S or Nexus S 4G. Uh, go download the NetArchy-Nexus-1.4.0 uh, uh, or the latest version. I'll have links below. It works on Nexus S or Nexus S 4G. The kernel works fine. Um, this one. So this one, copy it over to your Nexus S in USB storage mode. All right. And uh, this one, you can't use ROM Manager. Um, because it's not a ROM. So what you're gonna do is uh, power it off. And actually, if you have one of those custom ROMs, you can just do this recovery and do it. Um, if you don't have one of these, power it off and hold down volume up and power button mm -hmm. until you see the menus, and then choose recovery and hit the power button. But if you're on a ROM, mm -hmm. you know aftermarket ROM, you can just go straight in here and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and choose the NetArchy, the, the kernel file. And I'm installing this because this one gives you wings and make lets you overclock. Uh, go back and reboot system now and that was it. It took us, what, 20 seconds to install a new kernel. Um, there's also, if it doesn't work out for you, then you can always uh, install stock kernel back on there. Um, I'll try to have links on those too. But one thing you have to remember, uh, some kernels are only for like Android 2.3.3 or 2.3.4. Um, then you can break your phone. But it's okay. Make, make sure you make a, make a backup if it's the first time. Always make a backup um, of your favorite setup. So I'm getting force close, force close, force close. Ooh, this is bad. <laughs> so this is exactly what can happen. Uh, when you install a new kernel and it's not compatible with your ROM. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to actually go install a new ROM, but I just showed you how to install a new kernel um, and if it's not compatible you're going to get something like this. So see y'all later.